The Indian Space Research Organization successfully launched three satellites into space. The satellites were launched from the first launch pad of the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. The small satellite launch vehicle rocket carried three satellites into a 450-kilometer circular orbit during its 15-minute flight. First is ISRO's Earth Observation Satellite EOS-07. Second is Janus-1, belonging to a firm of the United States. The third satellite is Azadi Sat-2, belonging to Space Kids India. The SSLV's maiden flight was scheduled for launch on the 7th of August last year. The mission was, however, a failure as the rocket had put two satellites, EOS-1 and Azadi Sat, in wrong orbit, resulting in their loss. SSLV is India's newest and smallest rocket. SSLV caters to the launch of up to 500 kilograms of satellites to low Earth orbits on launch on demand basis. It provides low cost access to space, offers low turnaround time and flexibility in accommodating multiple satellites and demands minimal launch infrastructure. The new vehicle was developed to further ISRO's efforts towards capturing the emerging small and micro satellite commercial market. The rocket can be assembled by a small team in only a few days. And for more on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report from India's Satish Dhawan Space Center. The Indian Space Agency ISRO has kick-started the year 2023 with a success in its maiden launch of the year, which is SSLV. SSLV is, of course, India's lightest and newest rocket. And this was the second development flight of SSLV. Notably, the first flight of SSLV was a failure. It took place in August in 2022. And uh, ISRO learned several lessons from that failure and made modifications to a rocket to sort of counter whatever uh, anomalies they encountered last time. And this time around, they've delivered a flawless success. And three satellites, two from India and one from the US have been ejected into a 450 kilometer orbit which means it's 450 kilometers above the Earth's surface or rather in low Earth orbit. What this means is that this mission is a complete success. It also gives confidence for ISRO because it proves the launch vehicle which is SSLV and it also gives more confidence because ISRO now has four vehicles in its table. The new one SSLV and the existing ones such as the PSLV, JSLV and JSLV Mark III. About the SSLV, we can tell you that it's a very modern vehicle made using simple technologies. Hence, the manufactured parts of the rocket can be stored for a long time, even with onboard fuel, because it uses solid fuel. In addition to that, an SSLV rocket can be assembled and integrated by just a handful of engineers and technicians in less than a week's time. For the larger rockets like PSLV and GSLV, the assembly and integration alone can take anywhere between one to one and a half months. So SSLV is meant to cater to the launch on demand market where customers are ready to pay money provided the satellites can be launched in a matter of a few weeks. And that's where SSLV wants to operate India and ISRO hopes to pitch SSLV to customers to provide instant launch services of small satellites with, which weigh less than 500 kilos. So this gives more confidence to ISRO and henceforth the SSLV vehicle can also contribute to India's space economy by providing launch on demand services and raking in revenue for India. With video journalist Surendra in Sriharikota, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.